In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create dice infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added five uh, dices and then for each dice, I've just given the, the option one, the title and the detail text here. And this is connecting with the dice two and then the option two, option three, option four and option five. I have made one more slide where you can see here I've just put uh, the different one here this is one and this, uh, this side two this side two and this side three like that i've changed it and i have made one more slide we have just rotate uh, a little bit you can see here the dices and i have added one more slide with the animation effect so when i click the first dice comes then the second dice the third fourth and fifth and then it will connect to each other so let's see how to create the dice infographics in powerpoint Add a new slide and change the background color to any dark color. In this case, I have used some gray color. Then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the hexagon. You can see here, draw the hexagon by holding the shift key and then shape outline, make it no outline and then align center, align middle. And using this curved arrow, I'm just going to rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate it something like this. So this shape should look something like this. You can see here. And this color, you can choose any color of your choice. Let me just select maybe white color here. Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here. And I'm going to give some different color combination. And later on, I can change it. And for this also, I'm going to align center, align middle, and then I'm going to cut it half. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, you can see here. And then I'm going to select the hexagon and then hold the shift key, select this rectangle, merge shapes, you can see here, I can just subtract it. So you end up getting only half. Now again, I'm going to cut from the top part. So let me just insert the rectangle again. You can see here this rectangle, right mouse click, go to format shape and make it somewhat transparent. So we know exactly how much we are going to cut it. Let me just zoom in. You can see here, I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to bring it something like this here. You can see here something like this. So it like exactly you need to match with this one you can see here with this uh, corner all right so something like this it will look like and then i'm going to select this then hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape and again i'm going to subtract it so you end up getting this shape and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color and later on we can change the color not a problem and then I'm going to rotate it, flip vertical. You can see here, I'm just going to add it. You can see here, flip horizontal. You can see here, we end up getting this shape. Now I'm going to change these colors. I'm going to use some light colors. Go to format, shape, fill. I can just select one light color here. And here I'm just going to select somewhat darker color. So you can see here, let me just remove the guide. So it end up looking something like this. And if you want, you can make it more uh, darker color also. So first, I'm just going to select all and press Ctrl G to group it. And then I'm going to use the options here. For that, go to shapes and select the oval shape. Draw the small oval shape you can see here by holding the shift key. Shape outline, make it no outline. And shape fill, I'm going to select a black color bring this black color exactly in the center you can see here so it is not uh, matching perfectly here so we need to just change the shape for that i'm going to effects and i'm going to 3d rotation you can see here from presets i can just go and select this off axis one left so you can see here it is look perfectly and this one if you want you can just put one or if you want you can just and again, I'm just going to rotate it. This time I'm going to select this one to the right. You can see here, this is press control D. So I'm just going to add one more. So this time here one and this is two. And here this place, I'm, I'm going to add some icons. So you can see here. So 
and then once this is done if you want if you have some icons you can just go to insert icons and if you don't have the icons i have provided one icon sheet uh, that you can download it from my channel just click on insert you can see here and the height i'm going to make and the width same five then again i'm going to do the 3d rotation for this also so you can see here it looks perfectly all right again i'm going to group this now i want to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select this right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and then i'm just going to rotate it flip horizontal you can see here and then you just go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here let me just make it four and i'm just going to right mouse click edit points you can see here i can just add it till here and this one i can move it something like this and then send this to back so this is the shadow effect i have added for this dice so again i'm going to select all and group it so this is very simple for me now this is the first dice press ctrl d this is the second one this is the third fourth and one more i'm going to add this is the fifth dice now for me it's time to change the this is one and two now this will be two and three so again what i'm going to do i'm going to this one so this is the first one so i'm just going to select this move it down press ctrl d and add it one here and for this one it has to be three press ctrl d so you can see here i've added three here so likewise i have to make it this uh three and four five and six and six and seven or whatever so let's do all those things so as you can see here i've added this is one and two this is two and three three and four four and five and five and six now it's time to add to connect these uh, dices for example go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can give a gradient fill also that later we can add it so go to effects again under 3d rotation you can see here i can just select this one which is the off axis too so i'm just going to bring it here you can see here and then send this to back so it looks something like this this is connected press ctrl d now i'm going to rotate it the other side you can see here i've selected this one which is off axis one top right now i'm just going to select this and again send this to back you can see here press ctrl d this also i'm just selecting here and again send this to sending this to back and again select this and join this together send this to back and then bring this here you can see here so this is the way you can just connect it and you can just give any gradient fill for this i'm just going to delete this and i'm going to make it some color combinations maybe green with a uh, fluorescent green you can see here some like these colors you can give it and if you want to change the direction you can just change the direction whichever direction you want you can just do it so for this also i'm just going to select gradient fill and i can give some different color combination maybe a purple uh, with kind of a pink or some other color you can see here so it looks something like this so you can just change the color according to your requirement and then i'm going to add the text here so i have added the gradient fill for this connections and uh, let me just select all by pressing ctrl a and then let me just bring it to the center and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the hexagon again draw the hexagon again by holding the shift key rotate it you can see here and i'm going to give the same color which i've used here shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 or you can make it a b c d according to your requirement make it bold and then 
bring it here this one i'm going to just group this press ctrl d i'm going to add this is the second option then you can change the color according to this this is my third option this is the fourth option and this is the fifth option so just change the color according to the lines here and just go to insert text box and add your detail text here reduce the size i'm going to give the same color you can see here now it's easy press ctrl d to duplicate add one by one for each option press ctrl d and that's it so i'm just going to change this one to two this is three this is four and this is five so you can see here our dice infographics is ready and if you want you can just do some small animation to it to add the animations let me just select this option first then go to the animations enable the animation pane then i can use the fly in fly in i can just make it from top you can see here and just double click and you can increase the bounce and and click ok so it comes something like this and then i'm going to group this together or you can make it uh, separately also and this one i'm going to add the animation which is the stretch and i'm going to make it from top you can see here and make this after previous so now i'm going to select this animation painter click on this one then again select this the second option but before that make sure that you need to group it let me just group it one by one so that i'm going to add one animation effect to it you can see here then let me just add this animation now so again this is my third one i'm going to select apply it on the third then again the text of second apply it on the third text select the third slide dies animation and then you can see here just do one by one you can see here now let me just play how it looks you can see here and lastly what we can do is we can just add the animation to the lines i'm going to use the wipe effect you can see here wipe and then this wipe effect i'm going to put it for this and this one it should be from top you can see here this also it should come from top and this one it should come from bottom and this should all happen after previous i can just say with previous or after previous maybe this will be after previous or i can make it all after previous only let me just make it all after previous and if i play you can see here second option third fourth fifth and then the lines connecting to each dice That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.